Let's take a quick look around the interface of the Lightroom CC desktop app to give you a sense of the layout and where everything is. Over on the left is a column with options that you'll use when you're reviewing and organizing your photos. Here, you can choose which group of photos to see, whether that's all your photos or those you've just recently added, or you can even choose photos by date. And here, you can choose photos you put in an album or create a new album. You can hide and show this column by clicking the My Photos icon, the one that looks like a file box over here. Then up at the top of the screen is the search box, where you can search for photos by the content they contain, even if you haven't taken the time to add keyword tags to your photos. For example, I could use this to find my photos that have mountains in them or water in them. Next to that is the filter icon. Clicking that opens a bar with a number of filters that you can use to find photos by attributes, like stars you've added to them, or flags you've added, or these other characteristics. Over on the right is the share icon. If I select a photo and then click the share icon, I can choose to save a copy of the photo with any edits I've applied to my computer so I can share it out myself. And you can share photos directly to Facebook from here too. And to the right of that is the cloud icon. From here, you can check the sync status of your photos. One of the nice things about the Lightroom CC interface is that everything is here on one screen. So when you're ready to edit a photo, you don't have to switch to another module. Just come over to the right side of the screen and click the edit icon here. That opens this column of editing controls and it closes the column over on the left. In the column on the right, there are more editing tools. There's a crop tool, a healing brush tool for removing unwanted content, and some selective editing tools for editing just part of a photo. And these three dots represent a menu of more editing commands, including the command to take a photo directly to Photoshop for further editing that you can't do in Lightroom CC, like combining multiple photos or adding text. The tag icon at the bottom right opens a panel where you can keyword tag your photos, and the info icon displays information about the selected photo. Coming down to the bottom of the screen, there is a film strip that you can use to move between photos one at a time. And down at the very bottom, there's a toolbar where you can add star ratings and flags and view your photos in different configurations, like this large detail view or one of these grid views. We'll look at these view options in more detail in the next lesson in this tutorial. And you can learn more about the other features I pointed out in this tour as you continue through the rest of the tutorials in the Get Started with Lightroom CC tutorial series.